Okay, everybody, this is Scott. It's, uh, it's about 1 or 2 on April 23rd. Um, it's kind of, kind of warm out today. Um, that's all right, I'm in my air conditioned place. Anyway, I wanted to show you the power supply that I had that went bad. It's, uh, as you can see, it's just a standard power supply. And uh, I took the ends up and off to. Uh, <laughs> go into this uh, motor control unit. Um, unfortunately though, this power supply, something happened to it, it just fried on me. Um, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see that or not, but, well, no, it doesn't look like the capacitor is swollen or anything, because usually whenever there's a surge, the capacitor will swell. So, I'm thinking about taking this one apart and seeing exactly what happened. Um, I don't think it should be hard, too hard to pull apart. Yeah, actually it's gonna take a little bit of prying. So, uh, like I said, um, different things happen for a reason, but it's not slowing my progress down any. Uh, machines in the other room, um, spins up and works fine. I'm still waiting for this controller with the buttons on it. One's red like this one and the other's green. And then there's a knob control to control the overall speed of the motor. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna get a screwdriver and crack this power supply open. And then, um, then we'll take it from there and see what happened. Uh, so, uh, I just, I get these weird texts from somewhere on uh, spam. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna crack this open real fast. Okay, I got it opened up, and let's take a look and see what's inside. As you can see, that here's that big capacitor right there. That's where all the power distribution takes place. Uh, it looks okay. I don't know if you can see everything there, but there's just a transformer in there and everything. But I noticed, wherever you plug it in right there, there's a hole in the top there. So and that's not for me prying the crap out of it, trying to get it open. Um, that looks like a short point to where the thing shorted out on me, so that's why it fried. Uh, that green transformer, I'm thinking, is the part that fried, because that's, uh, that's what transforms the power from 120 AC to 12 volt DC. So, and if that goes, it's just gonna fry that whole board. So, anyway, um, I think that's what happened. Because uh, it, it got pretty hot, it got pretty dang hot, and uh, started smoking a little bit, so. And of course, it was attached to my motor control module, and that's probably what screwed it up. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that little update with you. And uh, what I see it is good things come to those who keep on pressing on and looking for answers and, and solving problems. Uh, that's, uh, that's it for right now. Talk to you later.